one. Now, if you know anything about traditional games, you know that it was usually accompanied by some delicious snacks. So when I was doing a series interviewing people of Chennai about their games, I had to have, you know, a foodie here. Who better than Rakesh, a food historian and master chef, India Tamil judge. But more than that, he knows things about food that you and I would love to know. But today, we're not going to talk about food unless it comes with a side order of games. <laughs> so over to you, Rakesh. <laughs> Tell me, how did you play? For us, um, childhood was uh, very, very... Um, for me, it, it, I mean, I would love to go back to my childhood. Because Don't was, we all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, not just... The food still continues, but wish the game yeah. bit of it was also there. Uh, you know, right? Ours was a joint family setup, and we had I had cousins of uh, similar age, uh, siblings. So we would all have. Uh, I mean, there was a the neighbor's house had a beautiful mango tree. Huh. So in like one of the activities, especially in summer, was and the we would go. There would be another roof there. We would climb on it and pluck the mangoes. mangoes. So uh. The neighbors never got to eat the mangoes. We would do it. Again, the color We've we've uh, broken a few window uh, of course. panes and that's part of that. the pleasure. It adds to the taste of and the mango. To, today, if I think of it, I don't even think it was it was a great tasting mango. But that <laughs> thrill of oh, number the thirdy after you know. I like cholu mala. Thirdy na mango always tastes better. And I I I still thought back in the day that was the tastiest mango. <laughs> <laughs> so we have it from the chef himself that the thirdy na mango is always, the best. Always. <laughs> And then I still remember we used to have, um, you know, these uh, these things that we will draw. I, th I think my cousins played mm. more with them. And the Pandi Valayadra mm. Madri. They would do, but you go to the end, you kind of twirl. Turn around and, and then you jump, yeah. hop, skip and jump. That ah. was there. Then my mother would, uh, and, and the Pallanguri uh, we used to do uh, that. Uh, then this Adipuli Atam was something that... Uh, she will have a particular song for that. Was that for Adipuli Atam or Five Stones? An Anjikal. Anjikal, 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 Anjikal ah. correct. Anjikal, 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 Mukuti Shukuti Pavaka, Mullila, the Yelaka, Mulla. Edo part of it, you know, you'll purify the stones. stones. That was to keep the rhythm, I yeah, guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I remember this whole uh, Paramapadam and things like that. Yeah. We used to play, especially for, I think, Vaikunda Egadasi uh, nights. Yeah. So, I mean, it was all so much. Uh, so much more memorable that you think about it today because there was no technology back yeah. in the day, right? And these were the only form of uh, yeah. uh, things that you could play. And so, Rakesh, I'm going to share something with you. We were in Krida, we have this set of games which we call uh, Treasure in the Trees. Uh. You know, games you play with seeds and leaves and fruit, and, like the Nungavandi is a mm. big thing. Mm. Have you ever played the Nungavandi? No. I so, haven't. the Nungavandi, you take these, the Nungas, scoop out the fruit, okay. and stick two fruit on either side of a stick. Ah. So, they become wheels. Yeah. And you roll it along and okay. go. Okay. Okay. So, you know, the more I understand, your kitchen virtually became the creative space yeah. not just for the cooking but for the games as well absolutely, absolutely. and uh, you know the, what you what you left over your seeds your the coconut shells all yes. became yes. toys and games that you played yes with. tamarind seeds absolutely uh, even instruments for that matter like in the kapali kovil ter rukum mm. yeah aruvathu mugra and the time la uh, the coconut shell mm. back in the day they used to make one kottanguchi fiddle Okay. Like it was a ah, violin. I've seen that for you. Yeah, they would cover yeah. it, they would string the top of it I've and he would that. play yeah. like amazing melodies. Yeah. I mean, we would still take it, bite and can, 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 can. Yeah. be making that noise. We wouldn't be able to yeah. play like the way he did. But, but I what agree. I'm saying, like you said, every single part of, you know, what we probably went into as or waste. goes into waste today was converted into something. Yeah. So did you play a lot? Did you play with tamarind seeds or any anything with the or shells or leaves were there games like that you played that you remember um we would go collect shells because i yeah. think we went to the beach almost every weekend yeah um my grandparents used to go to walk every single day uh -huh. so weekends at You'd least like shells. thursday friday saturday sunday we would go we would go into the sea and we'll pick like buckets and buckets of shells, shells and, and come home. back 
we would play it in such a way where we would exchange it. Haan. Like, you know, one big shell for like three smaller three small ones. ones and the madri, like currency. Yeah. Right. Would, and I have a pink shell. I want that pink yeah, shell. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. We, we would do that. Um, then when we used, I used to play tennis uh, at one point uh, in TTT. Uh, just around the entire uh, area, there used to be a lot of tamarind trees. Haan. So we used to pluck the tamarind. <coughs> We used to pluck the tamarind and, you know, whatever, they get the pulp out and then the seeds are there, we'll dry it yeah. out. And, uh, you know, we will we'll try, I mean, we've never really played per se, but we will use it as currency. Huh. Um, and the uh, Pulyankota suits, we'll yeah. rub it nicely and we'll keep it on someone's yeah. uh, lap. Yeah. Because, you know, it's... And the shudukotte. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. But very recently, I discovered that the Pulyang Kotte can be made into a uh, payasam. Yes. I... It was outstanding. Oh, was it? Yeah. So, other than, uh, so you played with cousins. Did you make up a lot of games? Other than the actual traditional games that we talk mm-hmm. of, mm-hmm. you must have made up a lot of games and played. Mm-hmm. How much of creativity went into making up games to play? We would... Uh, we would, um, like I said, go to the beach and mm. using the beach set, huh. uh, we would uh, make, uh, you know, like cakes uh, and uh, act like we were in the bakery. So that was there. Then um, this whole Chopu Saman uh, set, yeah. I used to be fascinated by that because there was a point of time where I would collect it, like Channa Patna toys yeah. will make uh, in, the, uh, wood. in, in yeah. wood. Then you had the traditional ones that you'll also find in Tamil Nadu. Yeah. Then steel ones uh-huh. uh, in, in small. Then you have other in you know, smaller size. You yeah, the will, tiny little miniature ones. Miniature yeah. ones you get. So much so that my mother, for our, when my when we got married, she made one set mm-hmm. of this whole Choppu Saman in, in silver as a miniature thing. Like you'll have all your... Traditional, right from Arva Mane to your rolling pin. My gosh. To one small moram to uh, 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 Ad, uh, kadai. Anikal, everything. everything. Oh, yeah. My yeah. God. All miniature ones and it is stuck. I mean, I, I wish I could display it somewhere. But <laughs> uh, but we used to have that uh, that that kind of... Chopu Saman. Chopu Saman. Baking. We used to do a lot of plays. But that was part of growing up, no? The Chopu Saman, there was never this thing of boys and girls. Nothing. Everybody played with it. Yes, and I think yes. And everybody enjoyed cooking. Yeah. No? We would always do that. And we would have these, um, uh, like for Pongal and all of that, we would, they would set up a small like firewood stove. Uh-huh. Or chinna terracotta paane. Put, you will add water, you will yeah. add rice and dal and you would let it uh, overflow, overflow yeah. and say Pongal, Pongal. So all this was there as part yeah. of uh, growing, know, growing up. up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and actually now that you talk about it, the Chopu Saman was so much a part of our growing yes. years. You know, yes. yes, You just never thought that it actually brings you to cooking. No, <laughs> exactly. No, and it is so sensory, yeah. uh, right? Like the tactile movements, coordination and what you're seeing in your house when people cook is what you're also trying yeah, to... And at the end of the day, a steel plate and a steel currently makes a fabulous noise which any child likes yes. to add. <laughs> to, so very that's true, very true. true. I also remember doing this... Um, um, you, you spoke about the Nungu Vandi, yeah. right? I remember going to uh, a cycle shop that is right yeah. opposite. I'm on the and the cycle tube. Yeah. That was another. Yeah. Really. And, I mean, back in the day, there was no traffic, also, like what it is today. No? So, on that road, oh, you would just you go just... whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. I think we spent a lot of time on the roads and the streets. Yes. And on the trees. Yeah. And in neighbors' houses yes. and on the walls, jumping. Yeah. <laughs> you were also talking about your. Wedding and how your mother had made a miniature palanguri and uh, yes, dai katta. Yeah. So can you describe those for us? So the um, dai katta that she made was uh, silver with some intricate work. Design, huh. um, it was very very beautiful. I even asked her like, why would you do something like this? But th- she said, you know, you won't appreciate it now. But 25, 30 years later, when you have you'll... children of your own, <laughs> <laughs> you'll appreciate it. Uh, so it's it's. Uh, it, it's obviously today it's a piece of art. That's how I look at it. But it is so beautiful uh, the way that uh, she's thought about uh, making these things. Because at the end of the day, 
what we are savoring is something of the past. Absolutely. Right? It's almost like saying old wine in a new bottle. True that. Um, so uh, those are things that are very, very, uh, very beautiful. They're beautiful. They're nostalgic. But I think also they're very relevant even today. Mm -hmm. You know, like many things we feel we need to preserve because they're nostalgic and beautiful. But I think the charm and beauty of the games didn't just end there. Yes. I think we learned a lot by playing mm -hmm. that unstructured play, yeah. the fun, the lack of stress in a child's yeah. life. You know, I think all those are as relevant today as they were back when we were growing up, which absolutely. is why childhood still brings a smile to yes, your face. And, absolutely, uh, absolutely. I would hate to think that 100 years from now, children won't look at childhood and smile because it's so stressful with exams and tests and what yeah. have you. you yeah. know, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Vinita, Thank you for having much. me and uh, you know, making me go back to my childhood. <laughs> And the games that I played, I've always thought about the food that I ate, but it's now been a while that you play. since uh, I thought about games. Time has come to bring them both together. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Rakesh. Thank you. Thank you so much.